this has really been an emotional day for police officers all across central Indiana. Yeah, just before that Southwood officer was shot this evening, our crime beat reporter Steve Jefferson was gathering information on the passing of IMP Deputy Chief Jim Waters. Yeah, that high-ranking officer passed away this afternoon following that horrific car crash over the weekend. Chopper 13 captured the procession, taking Waters' body from the hospital to the coroner's office. Steve Jefferson joins us live from IU Methodist, the only news crew there for the start of the police-led escort. Steve. Yeah, Scott and Andrea, that escort left the hospital from the emergency room you see behind me here at IU Methodist. Fellow officers take it very personal being able to escort Chief Waters um, and also the message of his passing. It not only hit home with officers, but also with people who he befriended over the years. Officers escorted the body of Deputy Chief Jim Waters from IU Methodist Emergency, led by police on motorcycles and in cruisers. All day Thursday, you could see police cars from IMPD and other law enforcement agencies parked outside the hospital. The 49-year-old passed away Thursday afternoon here at IU Methodist. Waters did not recover from critical injuries after getting hit by a semi on I-70 Sunday. After several surgeries and four days in the hospital, an announcement came about his death. Stephen Price is one of the friends saddened by the death of Waters. Price's wife, a retired police officer, sent him a text of the department-wide message about the death. They just made it official. Deputy Chief Waters passed away at 2.20 p.m. today. Price shared a story with Eyewitness News about how the deputy chief gave up his motorcycle to buy his daughter a special gift. I had a motorcycle and Jim had a motorcycle and we went on a trip to uh, Gatlinburg a few years back and uh, uh, I knew some, some more policemen and uh, anyway he, he was a nice uh, nice man and he, after the trip he sold his uh, a uh, motorcycle to buy his daughter a uh, horse. And Price says it came as no surprise that Waters would do something like that. Right now, as you could imagine and understand, the Waters family, they're asking for as much privacy as possible. However, they do understand that Waters touched a lot of lives uh, during his career as a police officer. We will continue to gather as much information as possible as far as his funeral plans so we can share that with you so the public can pay final respects to Chief Waters. Andrea, back to you in the studio. All right, Steve Jefferson reporting live tonight. And speaking of how much he did for our community, for more on Chief Deputy Waters' background, including that personal story of how he really went above and beyond to a mentor, a local woman in health. Helped her in a huge way. We're going to have that story for you tonight on WTHR.com.